Welcome to The Big Interview. We're joined by Gareth Armstrong, the founder of Future CEOs. Gareth, you have a diverse and interesting background. Radio host, consultant, CEO of Future CEOs. How do you do it all? I have seen people doing a lot more than me and I try and keep up with them. That's the, that's the real answer. Uh, there are a number of individuals who I've been able to, to be exposed to or, or mix with that don't, they don't have a, a nine till five or an eight until five. They work well into the night and start very early in the morning. And I, I really guess it comes down to an understanding that if you want something, you've got to work really hard for it. Um, and that's what I'm trying to do. I, I, I believe in what we're doing. Um, and so it allows me to make sacrifices that maybe some people wouldn't uh, under other circumstances. You allude to sacrifice as a key to success. How important do you think some, a willingness to sacrifice things, be it sleep, be it going out to parties or spending money, whatever the case may be, how important is that quality for someone's success as an entrepreneur? I guess sacrifice is a word which we may also be able to put next to investment. And so if you are wanting to do something, you will always be willing to put time and effort and money into it uh, to make it possible. And really that's investing, isn't it? So today I will do what others won't, so tomorrow I can do what others can't. And if we see it that way, then it suddenly becomes an investment and not really a sacrifice. Um, that's my position. So you allude to tomorrow and you allude to working today for tomorrow and that implies a vision. And so how does one marry their vision with where they currently are and what advice would you give in terms of mapping out steps to get there? What have you done in terms of future CEOs in that process? The, the quote goes or the saying goes, I think it's from Stephen Covey, who says begin with the end in mind so we almost always must do that. Really what, um, what we must always do is just understand that we can't rush anything. We must move from point A to point B to point C. There is no, there's no jumping anything. And if we do jump, we are in danger of probably being caught out somewhere. So there's no shortcuts. I have met and seen many individuals and um, I'm gonna introduce it this way because we spoke about this off air. Sure. Um, of oh, where they are trying to develop social capital. So they try and use the Twitter or the internet um, in some form or fashion to uh, jump a couple of loops, try and take shortcuts, trying to be seen as a, as a celebrity or with a certain kind of status before they have it. You can't fake it until you make it. I don't believe in that. Uh, there's only authenticity. And so you must occupy a place until you authentically occupy it. And then once you have it there, you move on. And then once you, you've solidified your position here, there's credibility, you move on to the next phase. That is really how we should be approaching all of our lives, in fact. But we, we mustn't try and jump the chain. We must begin with the end in mind. You allude a lot to having an ability to know where you are and maximizing that moment, as you say, be in a space to get authentically occupied and then move forward. Where does personal balance come into play here? Family, friends, downtime, etc. How do you do it in your life, doing so much? The true answer is that I don't have very much of a, a social life, or I do, but it's on weekends. Uh, it's where it is appropriate. So at this point in Future CEOs, the phase that we're in, I'm willing to give a lot more to building Future CEOs than to building my social life or trying to be seen in a certain way by people that probably um, I'll never even know. I won't know their, their names. It doesn't matter what people think of you now. What are they gonna be thinking of you or about you in, in five years from now? Ask yourself that question, perhaps. That was Gareth Armstrong, the founder and CEO of Future CEOs.